Hi guys, welcome back to Carry On Baggage. If you're new here, I'm a digital nomad and a new mama working and traveling full time with our nine month old baby. I'm just here to fill the frame. Today, I want to show an app that I built a couple years ago that I use to pick out my clothes every day. That's how we match. That's not how we match. Um, we have an AI. It's not part of the, no, okay. <laughs> anyway, I built an app and people always ask me a lot of questions when I use it, so I wanted to make a video demoing it. Let's get to it. So, I was 13 when the movie Clueless came out, and there's the scene in the beginning of the movie where the main character is picking out her outfit for school using this touchscreen closet app. I begged my dad, who's a software engineer, to build it for me, and instead he used it as a way to teach me how to code, and that's actually how I got my start in programming. Cut to 2018, I just discovered capsule wardrobes, but I still hated picking out clothes, so I decided to just throw money at the problem, and I hired a stylist named Paul Jolch. Shout out to Paul, I will link his info in the description. Why that's important is that Paul's company puts together these PDF lookbooks with photographs of all of your outfits. So I grabbed all the raw images and finally realized my childhood dream of having that closet app from Clueless. I built the app using something called Coda, which is one of my favorite project management tools. It's particularly good with data viz, and I use it for all my big life projects. I had one for my wedding planning, one for all things baby related, one for our nomadic life, and the one I'm demoing today is for my closet. So the crux of this app is this dress me dashboard right here. And the way it works is I select from a set of drop down options. Let's say it's particularly chilly outside today. I am just going to our co-working space and I feel like looking like an adult today. Then it will populate this list of options for me to choose from. So what I do is I click on one of these selections. I click the wear today button and it will populate another database that tracks what outfit I've worn on what days. So that's really the meat of the UX part of it. But since I track so much data, I have some really fun views that satisfy my obsession for analytics. I'm able to look at my MVPs. So which pieces of clothing I wear the most. So for tops, which tops I wear the most which pants I wear the most, broken out sort of by article of clothing. I also like to know which outfits I wear the most. Another interesting analytic is this most style pieces. It just shows me which pieces are part of the most different outfit combinations. I have the same things for underperformers and here I'm really just caring about which items I wear the least. I should also mention that I still do capsule wardrobes, which means I redo my entire wardrobe every four months. So that's why some of these are still at zero. Though it has been two months and look at all the stuff I haven't worn yet. I love data. I also have these price per wear analytics, which give me the best and worst value for all my clothes. So for best value, it's sorted by lowest adjusted price. And so you can see I have the Original price here was $20, but it's divided by the number of times I've worn it. At this point, it's basically $2.22 per wear. And you can see some of the slightly more expensive stuff, like $100 for these shoes, are now down to $7.69 because I wear them all the time. And then I also have the worst value, which is the opposite. It's the highest adjusted price. And you can see I have a pair of jeans I haven't worn yet, so they're at the top. I have a really expensive leather jacket, which I have only worn it looks like three times in Berlin, so that's a pretty poor choice of items to bring to Berlin, but it's always good to know. And then I have a summary of all my pieces just to keep my minimalism in check. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out carryonbaggage.com where I blog about all things minimalism, parenting, nomadic life, and general life hacks. See you in the next video.